Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Bolt, on another video. Now, I apologize that I haven't been uploading as recent. Uh, I haven't been uploading recently. You can probably tell that from the release up, the release date of my last video and this one. So, the reason why is because, well, of school-related um, stress. Um, first of all, the main stress is Spanish, um, because if, uh, I'm not sure in other districts, but at least in mine, um, it's required to take at least two, two years of a world language. Now, let me know in the comment section below if you were, if you are or were required to take at least two years of a world language to graduate high school. Now, in eighth grade, I took Spanish 1-2, and that class was actually a lot, I'm just taking a look at that plane, it's doing very odd stuff, indeed, but anyway, so last year was rather easy, I walked away with an A, which, um, you know, that was despite COVID, um, being online, um, we did go, get to go back for a little bit at the end, um, I think because of COVID, I think we were give, we were given more leniency on um, on like stuff. I don't know specifically what, but yeah, last year. But then this year, I'm taking Spanish three four, um, which it's just just difficult. If anybody you take who is taking a world language now, I am typically the smart smarter of the bunch, you know. I typically get good grades, but when it comes to language, that's where my brain just decides that it does not compute the information that is being given to them. That's just, that's why I literally can't just struggle a bit. Now, I really want to maintain at least a C. Now, I'm, I'm already pretty fine because they changed the dis this system where, like, Instead of like um, from a hundred to nine, a hundred to ninety, ninety percent is an A. It changed it to like eighty to one hundred to eighty four something as an A. They I don't remember the exact scale, but they changed it so um, we can maintain a better grade easily, e easier. Um, not, not, not. It depends on the subject if it's easy or not. Now, um, in Spanish, it's very difficult. We, um, it's the conjugating that's really gonna kill me because um, there's just so much you gotta memorize. Like language, it's you know my like I am good at like critical thinking, but um, it, you know. I have a good memory as well, um, I can remember a lot of things, I can, um, remember, literally, um, I can remember a while ago, um, like, just the most random stuff, but I can remember stuff from all the way back in 2009, and yet I'm struggling on conjugation of Spanish vocabulary, but, you know, that's just, like I said, that's when my brain decides it's just, it does not, it no longer computes the information being given to them, so I'm sorry if I'm rambling on, I, so, I will tell you once we get any more about when we get, yeah, that's right, we are playing, um, a flight simulator, so, Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Because this video is taking a while, just me rambling on Spanish. So, by the way, um, if you have any suggestions for me to keep a good grade, please, in, in Spanish 3-4, please, um, I appreciate it if you would p drop in the chat below, um, in the comments below, um, you know. So, yeah, let's get on with it. Um... So today we will be flying the Boeing Triple Seven, which it's a beautiful um, aircraft. So you can tell by the by these landing gears, there's rows of one, two, three. So that's how you can. That's 
that's a quick way you can identify a Boeing 777. Um, yes, in the recent, in the past, I have been getting into a lot, been really getting into aviation and the airplane stuff that's, you know, really fascinating, so, you know, if you'd like to talk to me about, um, more airplane stuff, you can always find me on Discord, the, um, link, um, to my, to my Hypixel and main server will be in the description below. Um, I may make in, leave a like if you would like me to make one on airplanes and stuff, um, by letting me know by leaving a like and, um, and, um, commenting down below that you would like, like that, and as soon as possible I'd get you the link to that if you seem interested. So, let's get into it. Um, of course, now, recently, um, there has been a plane crash in Santi, it's, um, so I've, as an aviation enthusi enthusiast, I, of course, heard about this. Um, it's not going to discourage me from anything, because the reality is, air travel is the safest mode of transportation. So if you're a nervous flyer, just know that it's the safest, um, the safest, um, mode of transportation. And also, realize that the pilots that are flying, oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's, that's gonna give me a, that's just, that was counterintuitive of what I'm trying to say. That's, that was bad. It, this thing's going slow. It, it, realistically, that thing would, wouldn't fly. It'd stall out and crash. And the other one, well, first of all, that one's really, well, first of all, they wouldn't be flying. They crashed, first of all. So, um, so just imagine right now I'm just waiting for ATC to, or Control Tower to give me the clearance to runway, walk, to taxi while all these people are doing weird stuff. So, um, I'll actually tell you why I'm taxi. So it's V to ignite, and it's E to increase the throttle. So I'm going to taxi this way because we're going to want to go to an airport over there. So there was, oh my god. So yeah, there's a plane crash in Santee, um, and it's air air travel's safest, um, well, first of all, um, yeah, um, and do note that the pilots flying are human as well, and I'm sure they also would like to make it back to, um, their homes, and in one piece as well, in the same place, okay, so, we're just taxing down the runway here, so, yeah, um, unfortunate time, uh, timing when I literally started getting into all this stuff, but it, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's not fine that two people die, that's, that's pretty tragic, but it's, you know, I'm not gonna let it discourage me from, you know, liking airplanes and all that stuff. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to reduce thrust, uh, put on the brakes a little bit, um, while this guy figures out what he's supposed to be doing. Realistically, um, I wouldn't be given the, um, clearance to taxi if there's someone literally doing this. Like, I'd probably wait for them to get on the runway or something. Um, so, um, I'm literally going 1% thrust, just... Just so I can, I mean, if we can ever, I'm going to increase it to 5% now, if we ever get off the, um, oh no, oh no, no, alright, so, this is on Roblox, I'll leave you the, just the link to, um, the page, um, in the description below, um, so, yeah, you can tell that there's not so good pilots on this, um, especially this tiny Boeing, uh, Boeing, seven, wow, that's, that's a seven, that, yeah, that's a seven, that's tiny compared to, um, compared to my plane. So, as soon as I get on the runway, I'm just gonna literally try to take off, because I'm... Come on, dude. 
Alright, accelerate, thrust, thrust, um, thrust to 95%, that's about the, I think, you know, I heard somewhere that's not, uh, I'm pulling up the thrust, now this is called the toga, or take off, go around, um, oh no, and that's a setting where, like, it'll give you enough thrust to take off, or if you, you know, messed up a landing to do a go around. Now, so that's why if landing and you take off, don't think that the pilots decide you only get like a few seconds of vacation time before you have to return home. Um, uh, but no, it's, they're doing it for safety reasons because they, they know they mess up landing, alright? Rotate, oh, let me put it on the end. The rotate means to pull back on the yoke just slightly, not, you know, to gain altitude. So anyway, um to take off. So they're doing, like, they do go around for safety reasons in that, um, oh, stall, gotta push down the nose a little bit, um, they're doing it for safety reasons, like, they feel like that the, um, that the landing was too hard and, you know, it's not safe to, to land, um, so they do a go around, which is the process of taking off and trying another landing. Now, I'm not sure what this... And, dude, you know, in real life, this would not happen whatsoever because there's specific routes that pilots have to, um, take in order to, um, you know, or they take specific routes that given by ATC or control tower. Um, to their destination. Um, they don't... So, no, planes do not fly. So, yeah, they have all the room... You know, they have to stay a certain distance from other planes, so they don't really have all the room in the world. But, they can't just... They cannot just aimlessly fly around, you know. You know, they can't just aimlessly... It's like in a car, you wouldn't just aimlessly drive over uh, on the off the road, you, you know. You have to stay in your lane and all that stuff, you know. Up, we're climbing over to 2,000 feet. Now, really, this would be like, 30, cruising altitude would be um, 33,000 to 40-something thousand feet. Um, but this, or it's not the same in this game. Um, let me actually just reduce the airspeed, because, or the throttle, because the, the reality is they don't fly at full throttle, because, first of all, um, well, they want to save fuel, um, and they have to, they can't speed, which then they have to, like I said, they have to stay a certain distance from an airplane, another airplane, so, you know, they're not flying at full, um, throttle, which at first kind of confused me, like, you know, it would be efficient, like, time-wise, to, to, to fly full throttle. Um, but anyway, so, back to the Spanish thing I was, yeah, yeah, like, yakking about in the beginning. Um, um, I'm actually gonna pull it, pull it down a little bit. Um, Maybe a 2,500 feet would be, yeah, maybe you don't want to, I'm going to put on the air brakes just to, so we don't have to do it. So yeah, I'm required in order to graduate high school, um, I have to take at least two years of language, of world language, and because I'm not the best at it, you best, um, you best bet I'm just gonna take it and, you know, do it, do the minimum and just leave, because then I could pretty much, literally, oh, we're, yeah, okay, we're approaching the DOH airport, um, like, I can ace the other classes, like, I have a, I have a 100% in math, um, and yes, uh, math is actually, um, a good class because mainly I have a really awesome math teacher who, you know, who makes it, um, easy to understand and so yeah, um, math, 
I also like band because the teacher once again is awesome and I, I play the saxophone and music's just genuinely fun to play, you know, there's nothing bad about it. And then PE, you know, it's that simple easy class to ace, you just, you know, do play the activities. And then English, which once again, you know, it's not the favorable class, but, you know, it's easy enough. Um, and, um, yeah, it's easy enough. Um, then on speed days, because there's kid one, two, three, four, um, on, oh, we need it. This is reduce speed. We're coming in way, way, way too hot. Um, okay, hold on, I need to focus. I'm probably going to turn off the um, artificial horizon for now. Okay. Okay. Realistically, I want to aim for those dots right there, but this is it game so it's not gonna happen. Probably. Oh, I actually did it. Cool. So now you do something. Okay, that's not realistic. That's a that's a game bug. I that was You gotta be joke you gotta be joking. Why is there like why are there drunk pilots in this game? So let's 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 dock before anything bad happens. So, reverse and spoiler. I'll, I, I can make a whole video about reverse thrusters. Um, they're absolutely, they're absolutely, absolutely interesting. You know, the, you know, the way that, you know, it's not, it's like the, I, I can make a whole video on how airplanes stop. Listen, I gotta give a shout out to the, pilot YouTubers, like, I'll post some of, I think I'll, I'll post some of their channels in the description below, I gotta, really gotta thank you guys for, um, giving me all this info on planes and stuff, so, I don't know why there's so many drunk pilots, um, I don't know what, I lost my train of thought about Spanish, um, oh, oh yeah, I was like, so on B days I have um uh what's it? on B days I have I start off with um like this really chill class just basically I just do finish up any schoolwork that I have to it's it's really chill and um how do you do it? I, I don't know if I should do it I'm gonna do it anyways because it's just a game it doesn't really matter if I crash or not um. So, this really chill class where I just do my schoolwork and then I um, can pretty much play on cool math games for the rest of, for the remainder of the period if I have all my work done, which I typically do. So then after that I have Spanish, which um, very much gets me nervous. I believe we have a exam coming up. Not, I mean, and I... You know, I have a grade where, that, you know, I need to definitely, like, be conscious about what am I, like, about studying, you know, but, you know, I, you know, when the time comes, I, I'm, I'm a good student, I always study before a test, so if, if I have a test the next day, do not expect a uh, video, I'll usually let you know if I had one. But anyway, so yeah, I have, um, you know, I realize this video has just been me either talking about my Spanish school and then airplane stuff here and there, and that's kind of funny, you know, it, this was in, intended to be, a, you know, a video game. I had to pull up a little more. Let me pull up a little more. Alright, so I'm gonna cut the ignition. You know, that's not a bad landing. The nose, nose gear is somewhat on the yellow line, which, you know, that's good. Uh, I think, you know, the people would be pretty much happy except for that weird, bugged out landing, which is 
which is the game's fault and not mine. I've sent a port saying that it does that sometimes. Does that sometimes. Um, but yeah. So anyway, after um, so so after I have. Spanish, I have this intro to design, which we are making a laser printed, um, a, we're making like a, a puzzle out of a cube, well not, or basically put these, put, making these little plates with, like, teeth on them, that, that will fit together to make a, a cube, um, if you're following along, you know, if you've done that, then we'll probably use the laser cutter to cut out some wooden bits to make it. I'll, 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 sh you know, on a, on a random video, I'll, I'll definitely feature it, um, when I, when I take it home. So, after intro design, which is really fun, and after that, I have lunch, and then biology, which, you know, which, it's interesting, because it's, you know, I like this, you know, I like what makes me smarter, you know, like, I watch... Like, you know, I think aviation, you know, it's a pretty, you know, you know, topic that, you know, requires some brain power to understand and, um, you know, compute. And then there's the biology, which we're learning about, like, we're making this project on a food web, so, yeah, and then I go home. After school on some days, I have robotics clubs, so, um... If I can't post on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, expect that to be the reason. Somebody left their landing gears here. I don't know who, but they did. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's... So, yeah, I apologize if this was more about me talking about school. Um, definitely leave a like and subscribe. Um, if you haven't already, and do also comment down if you would like to make me, make me, want me to have a full video about airplanes and stuff, because, you know, I'm, I can, I think, oh, I think I have a pretty good under knowledge of airplanes, so, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe as it always helps out the channel. And like always, I will catch you on another one. Peace.